Hey friends, today we're going to talk about rice fuel. So most people use stuff like this, which is great, uh, but they're expensive. They're a dollar or two each, right? And if you think about that over the course of five years, how much you're spending on these. So today I'm going to show you what we do and me and Lunchbox have been doing this for about 10 years and it works great and it's cheap. So let's see what we do. So if you look at these, you have the ingredients is maltodextrin and water. That's pretty much it. The rest of the stuff is flavor and make you feel good about, you know, all the fancy crap they put here. So what you do, you can get this and you can get a salt stick because you're probably gonna take salt tabs anyway. So everything else on here is just a preservative and flavoring. So you can zoom out and get you a 50 pound bag of maltodextrin. Um, this was $170, $60. It's gone up a lot since shipping's exploded since the plague, but um, you can imagine how many of those there are in there. But we've been running like this for almost 10 years, and this is the third one of these I've bought, and she's used it too. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. It's just a powder, and the key is really... You can look online, but it's one gram of carbohydrate per kilogram of body weight per hour. So you can do the math on that and figure out what you need. It's different for everybody. So this is a guideline, right? So anyway, those will work in a pinch, but they really don't pack the punch that this does. But it doesn't have preservatives. So you got to do two things. One, you got to keep it in the freezer, right? Put it in as... Ziploc or some sort of container, put it in the freezer. Two, um, once you make it, it will spoil and like immediately. This is what they use in beer and liquor to make it ferment. So if it tastes alcoholic when you drink it, it's done. It'll only last for a couple hours. So just take the powder to a race with you in your bottles and then grab one each time. I mean, it'll last if it's reasonably well cold it'll last all day usually but it won't last overnight and if it's in the sun it'll spoil in a couple hours um but the powder's fine so you just mix it every lap or so or at an a station so let me open this and we'll see what we're dealing with all right so i lied this was about 139 dollars shipped um but i got this off of honeyville i'll put a link but there's the SKU number from honeyville.com. Uh, this is by far the cheapest one I could find per pound. And it's the same place I bought it from the previous two times. Keep in mind, all Malto is not created different or the same. This is like dextrose equivalent. Um, I forget who it is. It's 50, 100 or whatever. Some of it's like really sweet. Some is, but this 100 is the kind that I like. So, let's pop this open. We'll see what it looks like. All right, so this is basically your standard crack cocaine. But basically you just mix it with water and it works pretty good. You have to experiment to figure out how to get the consistency right. But I can carry a whole marathon's worth of fuel in a 20 ounce bottle. So anyway, I'll do another one when I actually have something to make fuel for again. But I've done it before. You can search back in the Wayback Machine. But anyway, let me know what you think. Keep it real. And we'll see you next time. Now I gotta put all this crap in those fun times later